Now, on the show yesterday, we asked you to get in touch and help us find the nation's favourite soup. Well, you've been voting, voting even, <laughs> and the results are in. Uh, so, in first place, with 34%, is the classic tomato soup. Coming in second with 13%, leek and potato. Mm. Not far behind with 11% is chicken soup. Poor old parsnip soup, as uh, Phil said earlier on, mm. came in with, uh, with just 2%. 2%, two yeah. Well, as promised, Phil Vickery is here to whip up your favourites. I thought you were going to show some other people's suits. Well, I am now. I just thought you'd introduce him. Oh, first. right. Hello, Phil Vickery. Thank Are you, you going to be showing? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 it's like today, isn't it? <laughs> I've only been um, here 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, Aggie, uh, Aggie said, um, I love pumpkin soup. Look at that. <laughs> See what you think of these, Phil. Beautiful. So, look, good colour, that. A nice colour. Uh, yeah. Lindsay said, here's my homemade creamy asparagus soup. Even my two fussy teenagers love this one. Mm, nice. Yeah, good. Yeah, this is my roasted butternut oh, squash no. and chilli soup, says Ian. It's delicious. Oh, that one looks good, but look at this one, Diane. Oh, Diane. Don't oh, do what dear. I did with my soup earlier. How oh, annoying that's annoying that. Mess, yeah. isn't it, eh? oh, dear. Come on, then. Right. So, you've been whipping up soup all morning. Right. Here we go. Here they are. There they are now. So you'll see. So there's tomato. tomato. And then we've got leek potato just there to come into view. And then finally we oh, have the, the back there, the, the uh, chicken one. Now, I base this on what I was growing up as, classic soups. My mum used to make chicken soup, which was like um, like a Campbell's condensed one. She used to whisk up with a bit of water. Yeah. And I tried to get as close as to tomato as I can. Because tomato is difficult, because tinned tomato is nicer than fresh tomato. It is. And do you know why? Because 90% of that's tomatoes. No onions, no leeks, just water, milk powder, mm. and a little bit of cream at the end, and a little bit of mm. starch to thicken it. Because when you make anything with tomatoes, especially stocks, you get what they call cookout. So you get the... The, the two parts don't homogenise, so you get water and solids. Yes. So you need the starch to bring it together. Uh -huh. And I've done that in most of these soups. Now, let's talk about tomato soup first here. Now, because it's we're in autumn now, um, a lot of the tomatoes don't have much flavour. So what you can do is slice them like I've done, a little bit of garlic and a little bit of tomato paste, spread it on and cook it in the oven, 200 degrees gas six, for around about 15, 20 minutes. So you concentrate the flavour. So yeah. you're cooking it down a bit like you would do for things like pumpkin. Mm -hmm. What but, about skins? Don't worry about that, because you're going to liquidise that and sieve that out later. So just, oh, That's fine. Okay. Now, the longer you cook it at this point here, the more intense flavour you'll get. Mm -hmm. So, what I'll do... They that's go in. what you can't do with a soup maker, which is what I was trying to say yesterday. That's what we were discussing. Exactly, yeah, you can't. But you, you can always roast them intensity. first and chuck them in. True, but then... I oh, know, exactly. Yeah. Now, to that, I'm going to add water. In that goes. Just water, like so. Mm -hmm. Now, talk about stock here. I've done this here. This is a prop. You can make your own stock if you have it. That's all well and good. However, I tend to use stock cubes mm -hmm. because I don't have much time to make stock at home, if I'm mm -hmm. being honest. Okay. So, stock cube goes in. Then I put tomato paste to not only give a bit of flavour but get a deeper colour. So, in that goes. And then I add a little bit of sugar, not too much, obviously. Any vinegar to balance that sweetness. You want mm -hmm. that acidity, what they call it gastric is the actual um, word they oh, use. That's thick. This is balsamic. Bring that up to the ball and cook it for around about 10 minutes. That's all you need. And then I thicken it with a little bit of corn flour, which is starch. All of that? No, 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 no. You just mix it up and put a couple of spoons in. Oh, OK. Mix that together. You need to stir that in when it's boiling and it will set straight away. It thickens it straight away. And then it... Combines those exactly. two things. Exactly. Now, at that point, you can liquidise or blitz it with a hand blender. It's up to you. And I do add a little bit of cream, single cream or milk, or a little bit of milk powder even works. Mm -hmm. of, I can't remember the name of them. It's the um, Mar Marvel. Marvel. Marvel, yeah. Any, any dried milk powder will okay. do. But it there are many others. There are. And, but what it doesn't do is give you I too could, much. I think liquid. there are, really. <laughs> there are not many people. <laughs> I'm make glad it. you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Mix it up, blah, blah, and then liquidise it. And over here, I have added it here. And what I want you to try and do is, is think. Mm, look at the colour. Look at this, it. this is the colour. And, this, and we haven't cheated this at all. There it is. OK, and you'll that see, looks you get that lovely texture. Now, I've got a various toppings there, folks. There's, there's a little cheese sandwich, there's some... A little cute, cheese sandwich little topping. Cheese. Have a taste of that. Hold I on, hold on, like hold it. on. And there's no onions, none at all. It's amazing! <laughs> there's no onions. What's a, that's what, a tiny bit of garlic. That is just like So you can one. do it, you can and do it. not nearly as much sugar, cos they can be quite sugary, They those. can be sugary. Right. <gasps> Love that. Let's talk about oh, yeah. uh, Go for a little dunk. I am. chicken soup next. Now, as I said, my mum used to make uh, the Campbell's chicken soup when we were kids. It's like a triple concentrate. You just put water and boil it up. But the thing I remember was it was quite thick, like a velouté. Mm -hmm. But also, the chicken was really soft in it. Mm. So what I've done here, in this pan over here, I have leek and onion and here's the secret, white mushrooms, white 
button mushrooms. That brings out the flavour of the chicken if you don't use Does too it? much. Yes. So rather than having chicken and water, you have the, the, the flavour that brings them all together, and that is the mushrooms. Because I've made chicken soup before yeah. and whizzed up the chicken, yep. and it's gone like dry in your mouth. Exactly. We'll come on to that. All right. So here, so then I add water. Again, stock cubes or stock, it's up to you. And then I will thicken it with a bit of cornflour water or just a bit of flour and water. And in this one, I've used a granular stock cube. That What's gives the difference? It, well, you'll find the pasty ones, they're, they're quite nice, but they're, they're pasty. See that there? Yeah. And, and you, you tend to get a more of a chicken flavour using the granular one. No way. Yes, you do. Because what you can do, if I just Made say this... Made by the people that start with O, whereas those that start with K. <laughs> K, yeah, and then okay. you know. But what you can do, let me show you this here, you can actually use it like a seasoning. And in R. So there it is. So you can put it in like salt and pepper. Yes, So yes. you know exactly what you're doing. OK. Big, be up to the ball, give it a couple of minutes. <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> and this, well, now what I've done is I have put some chicken in this. Now, the chicken pieces here I've velveted, so it's um, uh, chicken thighs with a little bit of egg white and, and starch on them, boiled them, chopped them up, and you get a what lovely... What starch do you put on them? Just cornflour, just normal cornflour. Corn flour. So you don't whiz up your chicken? No. But, but just have a little taste of that. You have the spoons there, guys. You'll see that that soft Why chicken flavour... Get that chicken That out. soft chicken flavour and texture what, comes what, from what? that. You've done it again. Yes. Stop doing that. Hold on, hold yeah, on. You Let can't taste mushrooms, it. can you? It's a tiny hint just of mushroom. Just a hint, but that, chick that chicken's chicken. amazing. That's because you've it. This right, we've got to rush on. I leek love this item. Leek and potato. Here you go. In here I've got a mixture of butter, garlic and leeks, which I've just cut down. What are we doing now? Just switch down some leeks, leek and potato. Leek and potato, that's it, got it. Actually, you can just boil them out, really. Cut the stock cubes. Potatoes go in. Again, a little bit of water, a little bit of starch, just to hold it. Water goes in. You can have uh, cream, it's up to you. Milk powder, blah, blah, blah. Boil that up for 15 minutes, liquidise it, as we did with the tomato soup. You don't need to put it through a sieve. I'm not really listening, cos I'm oh, enjoying no, this so much. I'm going to have to do well, At least you're honest. All I can hear is la 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 <laughs> You're sitting by the fire, aren't you? I'm just, just thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I wonder if I could get another one of these before fashion starts. Right. It actually <laughs> works. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, have a little taste of that, Holly, and I'll top this one up for you. Oh, yes, yeah. please. That's, then this is a leek and potato. There, let me top this one up for mm. you. You can eat this before. Right, it's like a soup fiesta. Yeah. So... It's about getting things right. I mean, that is lovely, but the winner... Mm. I mean, the tomato's great, but this chicken... I mean, this they're both is... those it's hard to choose from, but I'm in a chicken kind of mood. And that comes down to that chicken texture at the end this, of the day. Um, this is really quite amazing. It's, it's, just, it's just simple stuff. It's just Thank simple you. Stuff. My pleasure. Thank My you. My absolute pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> All the recipe details, I'll be having a look on the website <laughs> all this morning. You'll be texting me. <laughs>